so today our topic is the vagus nerve 10th canial nerve we will uh, study the root of the vagus of the right and left also the relations of the vagus nerve first of all the vagus nerve 10th canial nerve arises from the medulla oblongata midbrain it runs downward in the jugular notch and then in the neck at the level of thorax it divides into the right and the left vagus nerve the right vagus nerve posteriorly there's a subclavian artery and the laterally there's a trachea and in middle of the right vagus is the azygous vein it, uh, it crosses the azygous vein and comes on the right lung it runs at the posterior surface of the right lung the right vagus runs at the posterior surface of the right lung then the left vagus the left vagus come crosses the left subclavian left subclavian and left commutator artery and then it comes in the posterior to the lung at the left lung so it comes at it turns at the posterior surface of the left lung right vagus at the posterior surface of the right lung and the left vagus at the posterior surface of the right and uh, left lungs so now the right vagus come in the esophagus and runs in the posterior part of the esophagus the right vagus runs the posterior part of esophagus and the left vagus runs in the anterior part of the esophagus this is the difference between right and left vagus so then both of come both uh, crosses the esophageal opening and then it comes to the stomach so the right vagus runs at the posterior surface of the stomach and the left vagus runs on the anterior surface of the stomach right vagus you have wo lungs ke bhi posteriorly hai esophagus ke bhi posterior surface pe hai aur stomach ke bhi posterior surface pe hai lekin jo left vagus hai wo left lung ke posterior surface pe hai lekin esophagus ke wo anterior surface pe hai aur stomach ke bhi jo hai wo anterior surface pe run karti hai aur stomach mein hi these both get termination now the branches of the vagus nerve the vagus nerve has different branches like marginal branch auricular branch which supplies the head and neck also the crowded branch to the neck and the pharyngeal branch to the pharynx and the superior laryngeal branch neck uh, also to the neck now now we will study the main branches of the vagus nerve at the level of thorax at the level of thorax the main branch of vagus nerve we will study uh, the first of all we have the recurrent laryngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal recurrent laryngeal nerve is also a branch of vagus nerve um, it has a right and a left the right is at the level of neck it round about the subclavian artery and terminate into the larynx ye larynx se level pe khatam ho jati hai then the left the left is in the thorax it round about the arch of aorta arch of aorta we can say the ductus arterios arteriosum and terminate into the larynx so both terminate by joining it, each other in the, at the level of larynx then these all right and left come into the deep uh, uh, plexus of the heart now the cardiac vagus nerve vagus nerve the cardiac vagus nerve has two branches superior and inferior the superior has the right and left these right and left both come into the deep part but the inferior only right come into the deep the the left come into the superficial part of the cardiac plexus thank you